Hello guys, my name is Arsalan. Welcome back to my channel. Today we will be solving a new read code question that is find greatest common divisors of array. We will be solving this question with the help of JavaScript. So let's read out the question. And the question says given an integer array number, return the greatest common divisors of the smallest number and the largest number in array. So array is num, so we have to identify two numbers here. We have to take out two numbers, minimum and maximum. So the minimum number is two here and maximum number is two here. So in the coding section, we will create two variables which will be our minimum and maximum. And then we will be doing some stuff to identify the uh, common divisor. So we have to take out the greatest common divisor of two number is the largest positive integer that evenly divides both numbers. So what is the greatest common divisor here would be two. Because why two? Because we will be having two numbers here one and five which are divisible by both two and ten. So uh, one and two are two numbers which can, which are both which are divisible by both two and ten. So we will return 2 here because you have written the largest number. Similarly, if we talk about second example, the only number which is divisible by maximum number and minimum number is 1, 3 and 8. Okay, so 3, 8 and 3 both are odd and even, uh, one is odd and one is even number. So if you see example uh, means the great, great, smallest number is 3, largest number is 3, so common divisor would be 1 and here the maximum output would be 3 because only uh, the 3, 3 here so we will return 3. Why 3? Uh, because it is a larger number that is divisible by both numbers. So uh, let's start solving this question now. Just, so just before starting solving this question guys do subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, press the bell icon button so that you can get the recent updates from the channel and let's start coding this question now so what i will be doing i will be creating two variables as i have said before which i which which would which would be my max num is equal to math dot max and now num this will give me max value let min num math dot min so, so if you uh, don't know that how we, for what I am doing then I am just uh, taking the nums array and with this method I what I will be getting I will be getting the max value okay so and here I will be getting minimum value so if I talk about example number one I will be getting here 10 10 okay and in here I will be getting 2 so these are two my numbers max and min now let's create another empty array let result so I have created another variable which is my uh, empty array and I will be creating one more variable which will be my i is equals to 1 which will help me in looping through the array okay so now let's start creating a loop and I will be creating max num is greater than equal to i so why I have taken max num because I will be starting from 1 okay so I will be starting from 1 till max value so i have to go from one to the max number because i have to ch check for all the i value which which lies between one and to the max number not more than max number just till max number and in between uh, i to max number so i will be in range from if we talk about example number one so the i would be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so now I will write if condition so uh, this in this array what I will be doing I will be pushing all the values 
which are divisible by max num and min num okay so i will be pushing all the values which are divisible by max num and min num now i will be writing a loop here oh sorry if condition here if max oh sorry it is m a x and u m mod i is equals to zero if it and min num mod i is equals to zero then result dot push <coughs> i now i return i will return result so you can see that uh, if i return result now i will be getting an array consisting of one and two okay so uh, i just forgot to increase the value by i because i if i don't increase the value of i by one so it will be giving me an error here so i just forgot to increase my i value here so i am getting not a number because it is an array so now if i uh, just put here l e n g t h length dot nums minus one and run the code now length dot result Hmm. L E L E N G T H. Sorry, sorry. It's some syntax error coming up here. I have to put a result dot length. Result dot length minus one. So if I run code now. Okay, I'm just telling you why I have put this this thing here. Why I have taken result dot length minus one. So. Uh, in the comment section if you talk about number example number one so my array would be here result is equals to one and two in example number two i will be getting array result is equals to only one so I have if you see I will I'm just targeting the last index because it is only a, because we are going from 1 to 10 so it is already sorted and the last value of i means the last value of result is our maximum value either you can do this or you can also try for this if I return uh, math dot max result so both are correct you can go with either way but i prefer for first one because it's much easier to understand but however if you wish you can go for both the both values so you see that it is running for all test cases so this was all in the question guys hope you have liked the video hope you have understood the concept thank you guys for watching the video see you next time